what tennis players really think about Elena Rybakina. Today, we're going to dive deep into the intriguing world of Elena Rybakina, the rising star in the tennis universe. Have you ever wondered what other professional players truly think about her game and the impact she's making on the court? Well, stick around because we've got some exclusive insights from fellow athletes that you won't want to miss. Let's get started. Rybakina, who won the women's singles match at the Wimbledon on July 9th, was born in Moscow and had previously participated in the Russian system until she was forced to change her nationality four years earlier due to financial issues. This year, Rybakina has attained a whole new and competitive level. She started off slowly, as many elite athletes do, dropping two of her first three matches in both competitions. Elena Rybakina, the professional tennis player, is best described as an underdog who is taking the tennis world by storm. She triumphed, winning the 2023 Italian Open. Elena not only put up a terrific performance all the way to the finals, but she also won the singles match against the current world champion. Her second WTA, 1000 Championship of the Year, came from a nice move she made on her way up to the semifinals of the competition. Her development up until this point has been consistent and incredibly laudable. She joins Monica Sells and Maria Sharapova as the only female tennis players to advance to the finals of four of the top five annual events. The fourth-ranked singles artist in the world now has people talking. What do tennis professionals think about Elena Rubikina? The underdog who first displayed her predisposition for success at Wimbledon has fans gossiping and news sources ablaze with headlines about her. Given that Elena is a Russian by birth and the All England Club had prohibited its Russian players from competing in the competition, some retired professional tennis players, including the renowned John McEnroe, commented on Elena's victory and eligibility to compete in the first place. Although Elena publicly admitted that she was now a Kazakh after the country had provided her the encouragement and resources she needed to continue a career in tennis, this was because of the peculiar ties between Ukraine and Russia at the time. Many people continued to believe that she was still a Russian by blood and birth, so she would have to follow the rules that other Russian players had to follow. She is undoubtedly a powerful hitter and hits the ball well, in his opinion. Just because of this whole scenario, I find it strange. I don't want to become political, but she is Russian, isn't she? Because of the whole situation of not allowing the Russians to participate, it seems a little weird. Whether or not people were happy didn't stop her from winning the championship. The only little setback was that the WTA decided not to award her points since the event had lost its appeal due to the unethical ban. Elena's year 2023 got off to a great start when she beat Danielle Collins in three sets at the Adelaide International. She then lost in the second round of the competition and again in the second Adelaide International in straight sets. Fast forward to the Australian Open, where Elena beat former French Open champion Helena Ostapenko in the quarterfinals to advance to her second Grand Slam final of the year. Victoria Azarenka, a two-time winner of the Australian Open and a former world number one, followed in the semifinals. She successfully climbed into the WTA rankings top 10. Before going on with the video, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Because she doesn't get as much attention as some other players, Elena Rybakina can be considered underestimated, but former player Tracy Austin believes she is merely flying under the radar. Since Rybakina won Wimbledon and advanced to a second Grand Slam final this year, few people would overlook her, despite her guarded demeanor. She doesn't have much going on outside of court, which makes her uninteresting to the media, and she has a very icy demeanor there. Austin said the following when serving as a commentator for the Tennis Channel. Is Elena Rybakina one of the most underestimated tennis players? Many are tempted to question. In my opinion, her demeanor makes it seem like it's happening more covertly. We can see that she has a rather low pulse since she doesn't exhibit many emotions. There was a soft fist pump after she won Wimbledon. The former athlete went on to say, She is a bit streaky, which is the third characteristic that makes her unnoticeable. She plays with such a high level of danger that there may be days when she is untouchable. She may therefore defeat anybody on a given day, but she can also suffer defeats at the hands of anyone. She has expressed a wish to be more consistent in her speech. According to the Tennis Star's style of play and conduct, Matsville, a seven-time Grand Slam champion and former tennis world number one, predicted the previous year that she would win 10 Grand Slam finals. She's only starting out but maintains such a serene, laid-back behavior. After withdrawing from a third-round match in the Dubai Open due to lower back issues, Elena went on to the Indian Wells Open, recovered, and prepared to perform well. She beat out Caroline Rachova to advance to the semifinals, marking the first time in her career. She won her maiden WTA 1000 championship after defeating World No. 1 IGA Swiatek and No. 2 Arena Sabalenka. The loser wasn't feeling so good while the winner was happy and thanking everyone. Arena had also traveled this far and anticipated winning her sixth WTA 1000 championship, 
but events transpired very differently from her expectations. The tennis player gave in to her feelings in a split second and aimed her tongue at Elena. Arena said, I'll make sure it was the last one. Elena entered the Miami Open with great expectations, hoping to complete the Sunshine Double, but fell to Czech player Petruk Vitova in straight sets in the finals. Although Elena suffered a brutal defeat, it was evident that her opponent did not have an easy victory either. Petra said in the post-match interview that she was aware of Elena's unbeaten record in tiebreaks this year, which must have been a little daunting. However, she knew that Elena would ultimately lose, so she persisted and won the Italian Open. Despite the fuss around Elena's victories and astounding performances, one thing is very clear. Unlike the majority of her tennis rivals, the professional tennis player does not typically yell or pound the air in victory. The tennis champion moves on to the next competition, with anticipation for the next championship to be won after a pleasant smile, speech, and of course, exuberant thank yous. Jimmy Connors, a former world number one tennis player from the United States, commented on her reserved manner on a podcast. He said that in the end, the tennis results are what matter. She moves around with what appears to be great great comfort. Elena Rybakina, the rising star in the world of tennis, has undoubtedly made a lasting impression on both fans and fellow athletes. As we've seen, her powerful game and fearless attitude on the court have garnered the respect of her peers. From her meteoric rise through the ranks to her consistent performance on various surfaces, Elena has proven herself to be a formidable force in the sport. The perspective of other tennis players sheds light on the impact Elena has had on the tour. Her dedication and work ethic has earned her admiration, and her matches are viewed as thrilling contests by both fans and opponents alike. As she continues to face new challenges, the tennis world is keeping a close eye on her progress, eager to witness her next breakthrough moment. So if you enjoyed learning about what other tennis players really think about Elena, don't forget to hit that like button to show your appreciation. Also, we want to hear from you. Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Who do you think Elena's toughest competitor will be in the future? 